So this is the brand new Yeti Nano Microphone. This is a smaller version of the Yeti. I've been using this microphone for about a week and a half now, and well, this is my review. Now the Yeti Nano resells for $99, and I have to say though, this is really one good microphone. It is a smaller version of the Yeti, but it's still packs in the same amount of quality you'd expect from a Yeti, just in the smallest form factor that is easier to transport. So what you have here is a miniature Yeti that has a few features. It's got a volume dial in the very front for your microphone, and that's pretty much it, nothing else. There is no gain um, meter or volume uh, or rocker, if you will, so that is not present on this microphone. But what you do have is a couple of the features. Now, before we get to that, let's look at just some of the builds. It's got that same solid build quality design. It's also very similar to what you find on the uh, regular Yeti. Uh, the stand is also similar, but it's a smaller stand, so you could say it's about half the height of a Yeti itself, which is nice, but also has some drawbacks. If you put it on the table and the table's not high enough, um, that of course is something you should you know bear in mind. That being said though, it still uh, is a really solid frame for you to use, especially if you're placing this on a desk or you're taking it with you on the road, because I think this is one of the, those microphones that you can travel with quite well. Easy to tilt and of course lock into location, uh, which is nice, so actually you put it directly where you want the microphone to be positioned. And you've got, of course, that blue labeling all around. Really nice, comes in four colors that are available. There's maroon, there's a blue, there's a gray, and it's kind of like a brownish color uh, to this. I do love the look of the microphone. I think it's really, really solid. Now, um, as we look around to the back, there is a, of course, a button to switch the different patterns. So there's the cardioid, uh, which of course is great for game streaming. And there's also, of course, the omnidirectional. Now at the very bottom, you've got a headphone jack, a mount with an adapter, which is also available, and a micro USB port. Now, the as I said, this can be mountable. It's quite easy to go ahead and do that. Uh, if you just loosen out the screws, add the adapter at the bottom, and you're good to go. And it's great for your streaming sessions, especially now um, using it using the cardioid for podcasts, for game streaming. Uh, you know, playing something like you know uh, Division uh, Two whenever that comes out. Skype using it on Discord or for vocals for recordings, which is absolutely fantastic. Or the omnidirectional you can use for conference calls, field recordings recordings, events, orchestras, uh, and so on and so forth. But as I mentioned, it's mountable and I'm actually using the microphone right now. You can see me here, I used it uh, for this voiceover. I mounted it on and that's probably the best way to use this because of the height difference. As you see, if I lift up the microphone, you can see how far it would be for me to actually speak to the mic if it was just using the stand. So that's my only gripe about it. Uh, just the height. But then again, these microphones are something you can place anywhere. I really like it. I like the functionality, even though it doesn't have a gain meter for me to actually adjust my gain. But I think overall, I like what I have used with this microphone. It's done a really good job. And I have to say that I am taught fully impressed. Uh, price point is 99, although that's not too far from a regular Yeti, which is priced around sometimes between 129 and 150. So that's something to think about. But at $99, this is a solid travel microphone that you can take with you if you're doing game streaming sessions, you're broadcasting, that will give you some really nice studio quality. Not some of those mini things that do decent jobs. I'm talking about nice studio quality that you can hear right now. So if you have any questions or any comments about the uh, the Blue Yeti Nano, let me know. If you're looking to pick one up, use our link down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video, favor this video, and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, once you do that, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos, because without that, you won't be notified because YouTube just does that. Thank you very much, and always enjoy your entertainment.